Yo, what up guys? My name is Jay Hopes and today we're going to be speaking about how Melly Mel of the Furious 5 apologized for his diss track towards Eminem. And just in case you guys don't know the whole situation, I'll sum it up real quick so that we're all on the same page. So Billboard put out a top 50 list of the greatest rappers of all time. You know, clickbait. And when Melly Mel was asked about it in an interview, he claimed that Eminem was only in the top five because he's white. And four months later, that prompted Eminem to diss Melly Mel on his feature on his new song with his new artist, Easy Mill, called Realist. When they say that I'm only top five because I'm white, why would I be stunned? My skin color's still working against me. Cause second, I should be the none. Being white ain't why they put me at five. Nope, it's why they can't put me at one. I'll be the last to toy with a juice that his brain is like half destroyed like a meteor hit it. Well, then with Melly Mel, we lost his asteroid scams. On the track, Eminem refutes the allegations that his whiteness is the only reason he's top five and says it's actually the reason that they can't put him in the number one spot. He also dropped a crazy steroid line about Melly Mel. And Melly Mel apparently wasn't going to take that lying down because it prompted him to respond with a diss track of his own. A diss song that was so bad that he even had to walk it back days later. Disclaimer, I'm the king of legend, the first Hall of Famer. Making diss tracks, I know you with that. Now everybody get ready for the kick black. Why you hurt? Why you mad? Now you look bad. Like a roach just crawled out of your book bag in a so now here we are, Melly Mel has since deleted the diss track from his Instagram page and issued this apology. In light of the 50th anniversary of hip hop, my original intention was to contribute an engaging and enjoyable endeavor to enrich the cultural landscape. Regrettably, my response fell short in its execution and I accept full responsibility for the misjudgment. I acknowledge that my perspective was ill-conceived and I am prepared to take ownership of this oversight. It has become evident that Eminem's dedicated and passionate fan base stands unwaveringly by his side, which is a test to their genuine admiration and loyalty, a true commendable aspect. Basically, Melly Mel was trying to stir the pot a bit by doing what every rapper seemingly does these days and dissing Eminem. Because in a statement, he also revealed his true feelings towards Eminem and even thanked him for the love Eminem showed him during his Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction speech. Here's what he had to say. From the onset, I have consistently recognized Eminem's exceptional prowess as an MC without reservation. My unfortunate choice of words suggesting that his success is solely attributed to the color of his skin was in no way reflective of my genuine beliefs. It was an attempt, albeit misguided, to engage competitively within the MC sphere. Interesting, interesting, interesting. If you want to read the full statement, then I will leave the link to the article down in the description. But ultimately, it comes down to this. Melly Mel bit off more than he could chew. He put out a diss track that sounded like if I were going to make a Melly Mel parody song in the 70s. You could just tell this man has not evolved his style since he came into the game, and that is fine. Just don't get into a battle with someone who hasn't stopped improving their pen game since they've been out. In the end, Eminem didn't even need to respond. The only response he needed was everyone clowning Melly Mel's diss track on the internet. But let me know what you guys think about this whole situation between these two legends. Did Melly Mel go out sad or do you think it's honorable that he at least owned up to his mistake? Let me know down in the comments and of course thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Peace.